We have a lot of stories going on throughout the day, but we'll begin tonight with the anti-establishment protesters, which includes the Rasdon group and affiliated groups. They gathered at the Democracy Monument early this morning to commemorate the 89th anniversary of the Bloodless Revolution, which transformed Thailand into a constitutional monarchy. With a heavy police presence, the group gathered at 4.30 a.m., the time the People's Party revolutionaries declared the end of the absolute monarchy on June 24, 1932. They held a candlelit vigil, played music, and placed their political messages, as well as a replica of the missing plaque made by the revolutionaries on the monument. The small brass memorial plaque embedded in the tarmac at the Royal Plaza was found missing in 2017, only to be replaced by a new one bearing a message about the cheerful people of Siam. The Rasadon group tried to install its own plaque at Sanam Luang in September last year, but the authorities quickly removed it. Security forces placed as many as 30 shipping containers and barbed wire on the Rajadamnun Road near the Chanasong Kram police station to prepare for the anti-establishment rallies. Later in the day, protesters marched to the parliament at the Akai intersection to push their three key demands and to show support for the opposition party's draft charter amendments. Rasadon leaders also handed a replica of their plaque, an open letter, and the Rasadon constitution to opposition party representative Cholanazi Gao for MPs and senators to consider while debating draft charter amendments. According to one of the protest leaders, the people want to be part of the current constitutional amendment efforts, especially in removing the Senate's power in selecting a prime minister and ensuring that any section of the charter can be amended. Both houses of parliament convened yesterday, continuing today, to debate and vote on 13 draft constitutional amendments submitted by political parties from both the government coalition and the opposition. Parties from both sides are seeking to limit the Senate's power, especially its authority to choose a prime minister, but this will likely be rejected by the Senate themselves. The vote is to wrap up later tonight. And there's another draft amendment by the Resolution Group, which seeks to abolish the Senate and all legacies of the 2014 coup d'etat, including the 20-year national strategy, is in the process of gathering support. The signatures of a minimum of 50,000 people are required for a public motion to be accepted by parliament.